Robomate Plus, India's largest curriculum based study app. Download the app now. Let us now have a look at the third change that takes place in a chemical reaction that is evolution or absorption of heat. Certain chemical reactions proceed with evolution of heat. Let's have a look at a reaction. We have a beaker containing calcium oxide and another beaker containing water. We're keeping a thermometer ready to check the temperature of the reaction. Right now the thermometer measures 25 degrees Celsius. Now let's see what happens if I'm adding this water in calcium oxide. We can see that the calcium oxide is getting dissolved that means some reaction is taking place. Now let's take the thermometer and measure the temperature. What we see the temperature has risen from 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. So can I say that the reaction has given out heat energy? Such reactions students are called as exothermic reactions. So the name exo means giving out and thermic means heat. So exothermic reactions are defined as reactions that proceed with evolution of heat energy. They are represented as plus delta. Your plus sign indicates that heat is given out and delta is indicating that it's heat that is given out. So let's have a look at the reaction that takes place over here. Calcium oxide CaO is reacting with water to give us calcium hydroxide CaOH twice. But this reaction is not yet complete. We know that the reaction is exothermic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a plus delta to indicate that the reaction is exothermic or heat is evolved. Now let's have a look at an example where heat is absorbed. So when nitrogen reacts with oxygen to give us nitric oxide is an example of a reaction where heat energy is absorbed. So when heat energy was evolved, remember we had added plus delta. When heat energy is absorbed, we'll add minus delta in front of the reaction, indicating that the heat energy has been absorbed over here. So such reactions where heat energy is absorbed are called endothermic reaction. So we define endothermic reactions as the reaction which proceeds with absorption of heat energy and it is represented as minus delta. The fourth type of change that takes place with a chemical reaction is formation of a precipitate. Now what is a precipitate? Precipitate students is an insoluble substance that is formed when two soluble substances are reacting. Let's have a look at the example. We have two solutions over here. In one of the test tubes, the solution is silver nitrate and in the other test tube, we have HCl that is hydrochloric acid. Now, as we can see, both these substances are soluble. They are clear solutions. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the HCl into silver nitrate. What I observe after some time is that an insoluble substance has been formed. This is nothing but the precipitate of silver chloride. Let's have a look at the reaction which is taking place in this precipitation. We have silver nitrate AgNO3 reacting with HCl hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid giving us HNO3 that is nitric acid and what is given out is a precipitate of silver chloride AgCl. Thank you for watching this video lecture. To watch more such interesting videos, attempt tests and to get instant analysis, download the Robobate Plus app now.